wanted to start with a word about the horrific news out of Lewiston, Maine last night, where we saw another tragic shooting that has taken at least 18 lives, injured many others, and left countless people in grief, shock, and trauma. As the President said in a statement earlier today, he and the First Lady are praying for the victims and their families, for those still fighting for their lives, and for the families, survivors, and community members reeling from this latest act of gun violence. And importantly, we continue to urge all residents to heed the warnings and guidance of the local officials and federal law enforcement are on the ground to assist with the response. During the state dinner last night, the president was informed and stepped out to receive an initial briefing of the shooting. Later, he stepped out to speak with Maine Governor Janet Mills, as well as Senators Collins and King, and Congressman Jared Golden. He pledged full federal support in the wake of this horrific tragedy. This morning, the president received another briefing on the shooting from senior advisors, and he ordered that the U.S. flag be flown half-staff at the White House and upon all public buildings and grounds out of respect for all the victims as well. So I want to echo the President's sentiments on this tragedy, tragedy and the epidemic of gun violence in general. This is not normal. We cannot accept this. There have been literally hundreds of mass shootings in the last year alone, leaving empty seats at dinner tables across the country, and leaving those who survive these heinous acts both physically and mentally scarred. And while we have made progress since the President signed the Bipartisan Communities, Safer Communities Act into law, mo mo much more, much more must be done. And the President has been clear that executive action alone is just not enough. As the President, as the Vice President, who oversees the newly established Office of Gun Violence and Prevention, stated during today's state luncheon, I'm, I know many of you watched very closely as well, and she said, it, does not, it doesn't have to be this way. As our friends in Australia have demonstrated, again, it does not have to be this way. It's within Congress's power to pass legislation that will make our streets safer, that will make our community safer, that will make our schools safer. The House has a new speaker, who, who, who he said, he said he's ready to, to get to work and to find common ground. Now is the time. Now is the time to find common ground. Let's work together to ban assault weapons and high capacity magazines. Let's work together to enact universal background checks, require safe storage of guns, and keep guns out of the hands of criminals and dangerous individuals who have no business being armed with a weapon of war. The President will continue to do everything in his power to protect the American people, to protect our communities, to protect our children. And we urge, we urge Congressional Republicans to come to the table, to come to the table if there truly is common ground at this time. 